Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another video. So today we're going to be making a guide for leasing in the jungle. Now I did already make a few guides for leasing in the past but today we will be making a new one. But also before we get into the runes and stuff something that I would recommend a lot of people to do when playing leasing is actually putting... Uh, your trinket on C. Now this is something that not many people do, but basically this allows you to have like your your trinket wards onto you like an extra thumb, so you can actually have like a, an extra finger, so you can like ward around. It's actually going to make Lee Sin's like so much easier uh, when playing this champion. It's not something that me that most people do, but then again, if you get the hang of this, it's going to make like uh, jumping through wards and everything like a lot easier. There we go. Now, I always like to start red buff, kind of depends on like what matchup that we have. Um, but also for the runes, we uh, I always recommend going Conqueror with Presence of Mind with Tennis City and Last Stand. Also, taking the Sudden Impact with the uh, Revenous Hunter. This is pretty much going to be like the standard kind of setup that you want to be playing with in most of your games. Let's quickly move up to this one too. I'll just kind of like drag it out already. There we go. Alright. I'm going to try to like clear this out as quickly as possible. Ramus is most likely going to be here as well very soon. I'm going to try to like compete with the uh, river camp. When you're playing champions like Lee Sin, you always want to try to get the river camp as quickly as possible. It's super important, especially like if you can win the fight right there. You can definitely like get yourself ahead throughout the games. We take this one right after we take this camp we're going to be moving up to the river camp which is going to allow us to fight the ramas it's actually like a highly favored matchup for Lee Sin too so as soon as we see like ramas if we have like the lane priority we should be able to like fight him very easily we will see about it it's going to be spawning very soon we also have uh, the Aphelios right here right now could try to gank him before actually taking the camp uh, I'm not going to uh, waste my ward now. Alright, we got him. Something which I would always recommend doing is not using your Q until the very last second. And it, this is something that like a lot of Lee Sin players are doing completely wrong. They actually engage into their lane with their Q. But the thing is like the closer you can get to your um, to your opponent that you're trying to gank the easier it is to land the Q for free, basically. I'm going to try to gank this guy, too. If he actually walks my direction, I think we could... Uh... Alright, I got him, too. Like, this is the kind of way how you want to gank lanes. It's, it's ultimately, like, the most important thing with Lee Sin is that you can do the, the the ward jump properly. It's it's really easy to learn. It doesn't really take that long at all. But outside of this, um, make sure that you always use your Q properly when ganking lanes. It's one of the most important things which I see failing, especially in like lower elos when they play Lee Sin. Uh, you see this kind of things happening like all the time. I'm gonna be buying this one here. Uh, also, I'm just gonna buy this one. Actually, never mind. I'll just buy this. Uh, That's much better. All right. This is definitely one thing to keep in mind. You always want to like queue properly when ganking lanes. Now, the dragon is gonna spawn within five seconds. I'm pretty sure Ramus is not gonna rush it because it's not a kind of champion which would typically just rush the uh, the dragon. So. We can chill a little bit about that. Now, I can actually try to, like, gank this guy right now. He seems to be pretty low. Let's see if we can uh, get something done here. Uh, so, this guy is here at the same time. Okay, we got him at least. I think we could even continue going, actually. I can jump within... Actually... I got him. Ah, he actually hit me at the same time. If I actually just wait for a minor second right there, I would have actually been able uh, to kill him there too, probably. 
and he's getting the farm. She's already back to the lane, so that's nice. This ram has actually counter jungled my uh, my my camps right here, which is just fine, really. I can just keep on farming out all the way to the top side camp right now, and as soon as we take that camp, we want to see if we can perhaps maybe uh, trade the dragon right after. We'll see about it. For now, we just want to be clearing this out. We want to be getting the jungle item as quickly as we possibly can. Like, the sooner we can get the jungle item in this game, the easier it will be to 1v1 about anybody. Especially the enemy jungler. This is what really matters a lot. Alright, let's get this push 10 all the way. There we go. Take one more camp and then we're going to be making our way back. I'm already getting like pretty close to my jungle item, just need slightly more. I'm not gonna smite this one because I would really like to have to smite for the upcoming dragon here. Top lane already seems to be winning very well, but I do have to leave him behind for temporarily. I really want to play like around top lane, especially now because he's like winning really hard. But the truth is, like, dragon is up right now. We have to try to get this dragon right now. So either way, whether he's playing, like, winning or, or losing, we just gotta take this dragon. Whatever it takes. The Inverno dragon is one of the most important things about the game. I'll quickly rotate the red buff, and then, uh, then we're just gonna go dragon straight away. Ramus is top lane, so it's gonna be free. As you guys can see, like, Ramus is actually showing topside right now in a moment like this, so the dragon is completely free for us. If, if you happen to see the jungler in the topside around a moment like this, you want to force the dragon as quickly as you possibly can. Nice. Just in case, I'll just smite it before there's, like, some kind of ultimate. I think I could actually just ward right behind him. I think my teammates can clean this up. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. I'll quickly move over to this camp right here. Just keep farming out. I can just life see myself back up through the jungle item. Now, obviously, Lee Sin is a very intense mechanically uh, champion that it takes a while to get used to while playing this champion. But to be really honest, Lee Sin is not that hard to play if you're looking for a champion with good mechanics and you think you've got some decent amount of time to spare then Lee Sin is the perfect champion for you to pick up like honestly it's it's a it's a highly me mechanic intense champion but it doesn't really take too long to get the hang of this champion so I think I got him here nice all right we got him Uh. Oh, we actually missed that one. That's kind of unfortunate. Uh, so Shasana's moving out here as well. Oh, I actually missed that one too. <laughs> I've actually missed like two Qs. If I actually hit the Bard, I could have had. A, I could have been away too while also getting a kill right there. It's kind of. Kind of unfortunate, really, but <laughs> it is what it is. All right. Now for the boots, I would always recommend either going for a Ninja Tabis or going for the Mercs. Now I'll also just buy a Country Ward. Hold on. Oh, actually, I want to keep the yellow one. There we go. All right. Now, especially on Lee Sin, it's pretty much about any champion, really. But especially on Lee Sin, you want to get Contra Wards all the time. Because you never know, you might get into a situation where... A sticky situation where you might need to uh, have, like, an extra jump. Mm. Oh, that's perfect. He actually uh, um, took the, the took the call right there with the jump. That's really really good. 
Now I think after taking this camper here, I, we can also rotate bot lane and, and gank that as well. I'll just quickly take this one as quickly as possible and then move up bot lane. Just to ensure that they don't expect me. Alright, let's gank bottom. They have uh, they have a ward right here so they won't see me coming. Oh! I actually missed it. I got him. Nice. We could also catch this Ramus right here. I would like to jump in there, but I would need to have somebody else uh, as well to like jump back to. I could use my warp suit for that, but whatever. We should have like a few more platings now. Nice. All right, now we can take a lot of platings. Like this is the kind of playstyle that you want to have if you're playing champion, like a champion like Lee Sin in the jungle. The playstyle is pretty much like uh, straightforward. Lee Sin's like power spike is all around the first jungle item. The sooner you can get the jungle item, the stronger you are. I got him. We got him. That the also is doing some decent uh, ultimates. Uh, ah, I'm not gonna get away there. I think it would have personally. I think it would have been a lot better if I actually walked back right there. And just let the Yasuo just die right there. Because I'm actually worth like a lot more gold than about anybody of this team right now. It would have been totally fine if I just walked out of this. But I've, I've tried. They used their summoners. Nice. I can also grab another longshot right here. Once again, guys, if you want to see the entire full build of, of Lee Sin... You can simply check out the description below and it's all, it, everything is going to be listed there. So... If you want to have the most optimal build, just check out the description, guys. Also, for like skill order, you want to be maxing your Q, then W, then E. Pretty much in, uh, pretty much the same in every game. Ooh, I missed that one, actually. I think we could just turn this very easily, yeah, just like that. There we go. Alright, we got him. My teammates are able to force the turret right there right now. I'll just leave him up to it. I'll just take this rep off and then quickly uh, rotate inside the enemy jungle so we can keep on countering the Ramus. Nice, very good. So now we're going to be walking inside the enemy jungle. We're going to try to counter like um, Ramus as much as possible this game. Let's quickly take all the farm up right here. Nice, perfect. I'm going to be moving top lane right now because Nar is actually playing insanely aggressive right now. If we can like kind of like play around it, then we should be able to do like lots of things. Oh, I gotta be really fast though. He's actually fighting right now. Oh, I missed that one. Hmm. Ah! Oh! That was so close! He's actually a lot more tanky than I ever expected, actually. Because he's already got the ninja tubbies. He hasn't even finished the jungle item yet. He's actually gone straight forward for the Bramble's Fest, including the uh, another like cloth armor and like a Bami Cinder there as well. He's gone as far as not even finishing the jungle item yet. If I think if he finished the jungle item, I could have I, I would have just killed him right there. But he's just going straight armor just to just to counter me as quickly as possible. The dragon's 
All right, this time we want to keep on playing around my teammates as much as possible. We got to end this game as quickly as possible, mainly because Lee Sin is not that strong of a champion. And while we do have like a decent champions like pull on this team, we do want to try to like end as quickly as possible. Hmm. And he was right here with me as well, but... I don't think he's bothered to, to try. Alright, I got him. Just by being like super patient, we actually got him there. I think we can kill this Tristana too. I don't have a uh, ward though, so it's gonna be... It's gonna be tough if I miss my Q. Oh! Ah, uh, that's that's really unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. I got him. Oh, he has actually blocked my Q. I could have killed the other guy too. Hmm. I think we could kill him. I think we can. We'll just keep uh, pushing this out. The good thing is, like, Nars actually went top lane extremely hard, but he's got the pressure the whole time. Let's see if he's. Uh, I actually didn't stay. Alright, we got that. Next dragon will spawn in 45 seconds and we do have to get ready for this thing. Uh, I would love to actually get like another camp down here. No, it's not there. Alright. Oh, I shouldn't have smited that one for the dragon. Specifically for the dragon. I kind of messed it up. So we're gonna have to play it out a little bit differently. Okay. Now I can just back up the Zenny very quickly if she gets into a fight. Let's see if she even gets close. She's not really getting close. I don't think we're going to get that lucky either. I don't think she will pass. I think she's actually going to go back for to base. Aww. Uh, well, makes a lot of sense. Alright, we got him. At least we got uh, one catch for this in return, right? The dragon is right here right now, but I don't think we can fight this. It's, really gonna, it's gonna come down to this guy making a good play. Nah, we're gonna have to run from this guy. One thing, like, we definitely gonna have to group up at some point in this game to continue, like, snowballing. I can't jump on him anymore. Hmm. Would have been just about perfect if you actually, uh. Nah. Would have been about perfect if Lulu actually ulted Yasa instead right there. I think we could probably fight this. Uh, let's see if we can actually still get a catch here. Hmm, no catch, no catch for us. I would love to really just jump in there and just uh, flash R, but then again, like... Wait. Hmm, that would have been decent. We're just gonna have to keep on pushing like this until we get a good chance.
just gotta keep throwing Qs until I get a perfect one when they disengage. Nars having the the herald right now, so we just gotta fight this one. Mm. I was kind of hoping for better, but bot lane is still like pushing out, so this is still a good win for us because the, of the herald. Probably gonna disengage completely. All right, we will just push this out, and then we're gonna go back after. Perfect. Alright, we're going to be making our way back to base right now. We're going to be affording the next item, which will be the Sterex Gauge. As soon as we have the Sterex Gauge, we will pretty much have the core build of Lee Sin. As soon as you get the, uh, the Sterex Gauge, it's pretty much like the, the best strength that Lee Sin can get. Anything beyond uh, getting like Sterex Gauge, you, you will pretty much get like a Guardian's Angel. But at some point, it's going to be like... This is the point in the game where we just fall behind. So we're going to either way, we're going to have to find like a way to finish off this game as quickly as possible. The sooner the better. Ah, I can find it. No problem. Ooh, I was actually hoping that I could hit him, but... Probably not going to be a good one. Ah, I got stunted by a Ramish right there. So, the thing about this game so far... We are pretty fed as a jungler right now. But the only problem this game... Is the fact that... Despite Nar having such an insane pressure around the map, actually getting like heroes done, getting turrets and all that stuff, Nar is not around the team fights. So we're basically in a 4 against 5 situation. It makes it very tough. That's the only only downside of this game. Nar's playing really good. He does get like lots of turrets and stuff, but the only problem is that he's simply missing out on the fights right now. Which kind of makes us lose the team fights right here. We should be like completely grouped up while like Nar tries to like split with TP. That's that would be the best situation possible. There's this guy right here. The dragon will spawn in about 29 seconds, and we will definitely need that one. Also, the they got the inhib as well, which is going to be annoying. Perhaps maybe we could try to catch this guy. Mm, yeah, it's just he's just jumping off. The truth is like they're all building armor right now, so it's gonna be harder. Alright, they're grouping around the dragon right now. We're gonna have to have a good fight. Renekton is currently topside, so. Oh, he's going like literally all in there. Mm. Ah, try to save him, but it was not possible. I'll just smite him so he doesn't get anything off here. Well, I have my smite back in about 10 seconds, so they won't be able to steal it or anything. All right, we got it. It would have been like a lot better if we could actually rush the Baron instead. The truth is like we don't have an AD carry. Like it's an any any ADC who is currently dead. Rushing Baron is like is really good in situations like this, except if you don't actually have an AD carry champion in the team. Okay. I'll have my uh oh that's so risky. Okay. This is not looking really good. Lots of people are getting catch this game. It's, it's gonna make it really difficult.
that are about pushing mid right now. If we actually group up as five right now, as soon as like Lewis spawns, I think we can fight them very easily because Renekton is currently bottom. Oh, this is not looking really good. I think we can kill them right now very easily. Ah, he actually run off. I should have ulted him earlier. Ah. If I actually ulta Tristana earlier, I, I, I try to like save my uh, my ultimate, but at the end of the day I shouldn't have done that, I should have just used my ultimate straight away and just kill him. Kind of made a, a bad mistake there, to keep her actually going. Alright. Hopefully we can... Uh, Got a catch around Rems right now. If we actually get one single catch right now, then we could also force the Baron right away. Uh, all right, we're getting them. She also failed there. Hmm. If we kill her right now, then we should be able to do the Baron for free, so this is worth flashing for. We just have to to rush to the Baron right now, and this is going to be like totally free if, if the, the team completed groups for it. Uh, we probably won't be able to do it because Annie is not here currently. This is an amazing opportunity that we're about to miss out on. Yeah, we can do it because Annie is not here at the moment. I'm gonna have to leave, to leave this one. We do. We can just take this camp at least. Hopefully, they won't force it now. Let's take the blue buff for my own, so so I can save some energy in the in the next upcoming fight. I'm gonna be getting my guardian's angel now, so with this guardian's angel, we should be able to win the next upcoming team fight. I'll be able to like jump in for these guys. I will also for like uh, one control warp for jumping. All right, here we go. We're gonna have to fight right now. Now that like Tristana's Guardian's Angels on cooldown, we're gonna have to see if we can fight them. Or actually, she, she hasn't got Guardian's Angel. I thought she had it before. Okay. He flashed? What do you mean? Why did he flash? These guys are probably being catched. This probably might be the game right here because they've been, uh, they just got catched right here. It's probably going to be the game right here. They have about 20 seconds to finish this off. And Yasu's gonna lead that too. Oh. Yeah, this game is done. Ah, oh, this game is actually done. Like, despite having such an amazing early game, being able to teach you guys about everything about Lee Sin. There's been some unfortunate things happening throughout this game that actually made us lose. 
but despite losing this game, guys, I've been able to show you everything that you need to know about Lee Sin on how to play this champion, like including pretty much everything. Uh, thank you so much for watching today's video. Once again, if you want to see some more Challenger ELO gameplay and all that stuff, I basically stream every single day right now, grinding out on my Challenger account. So if you want to see like more Challenger gameplay and you want to like improve in the game, don't forget to check out my live stream, guys. There will be a link inside the description below. But anyways, thank you for watching today and to catch you guys up next time. Peace.